Okay, welcome to the 11th CSS and HTML tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be covering CSS margins. Um, this tutorial will be a short tutorial. It will be a, uh, a continuation of our previous tutorial on the CSS box model. In, a, in, in our previous tutorial, we didn't fully cover um, CSS margins, so we will be covering that today. Okay, so let's create a div element on the page here. Div. Open div tag, close div tag. Let's give it an ID. Um, of, let's say box and let's add some text here and let's add some styles to this div element okay let's give it a width of let's say 150 pixels and a height of 150 pixels as well and let's give it a background color uh, let's give it a background color of orange Okay, control S to save and let's preview this in the browser. Okay, as you can see here we have a div element, no border, no um no no padding, okay, and have some text here of content. So let's add like we did in the previous tutorial, let's add some let's add a border to this div element, border five pixels, um, solid, black, one, two, three, control S to save, let's preview this. Okay, as you can see here we added a border all around the, the um the div element. Okay, now also let's add a padding as we did in the previous tutorial. Padding, P A D D I N G. Padding, let's say 10 pixels all the way around. Control S to save. And as you can see here, all the way around the, the content of the, the element, we added padding. Okay, 10 pixels each. Now, um, the, the CSS margin property sets, um, sets space around an element. Okay, that is the outside of the border. So the outside of the border here is the we, we can set space for the, the um, margin of the, the element. Okay, so let's um, and also the the margin is transparent. Okay, so it does not have it doesn't have any color. Okay, so it's transparent. So let's create a, a margin here. Let's say um, we wanted to um, push the, the element down. So we could say margin top. Uh, margin top let's say we can say 20 pixels okay control s to save this and let's preview this as you can see the element has shifted 20 pixels down this we could shift it down to let's say 80 pixels control s to save 80 pixels we have shifted it down we could also say um margin left um let's say margin left we could shift margin left uh let's say 80 pixels as well Control S to save, and we can shift the, 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 the element 80 pixels um, from from its left parent. Now the parent element will be the bo the, the the body element, okay? As which is this right here? That this is the parent element of this div element right here, okay? So um, it will be 80 pixels margin left, 80 pixels from the the left parent element body right here, okay? Now we could um, we could also say margin right um, we could also say margin left auto uh, left auto control s to save and let's preview this as you can see here yeah, it's pushed all the way to the left so and we could also give it a, a margin right uh, we could say let's say a hundred pixels so it's auto to the left and a hundred pixels from the right Control S to save it, and let's preview it in the browser. Okay, and it's a hundred pixels from the right here and left here. Now let's say we wanted to center the element, so we could say margin left auto, uh, auto, and margin right auto as well. Okay, now this will center the element on the page. Okay, let's refresh this, and as you can see here, the the element is centered um, horizontally on the page. Okay, and we could also push it um, from the top. We could say margin top, and we could say let's say um, 200 pixels. Control S to save, and let's preview this in the browser. And as you can see here, we can push it. Um, from the top here as well. 
Okay, so this, like I said, will be a short tutorial on um, CSS margins. Okay, so thank you for watching this tutorial and do ensure that you subscribe and you view um, further tutorials. Thank you.